Light is a familiar source of illumination to us. It travels an almost infinite distance through vast, often empty interstellar and intergalactic space without colliding with anything. We remember from high school physics classes that light is made up of millions of tiny particles. These are photons. These fundamental particles carry all kinds of electromagnetic radiation, including radio waves, ultraviolet waves, microwaves, and of course, visible light. When we turn on a lamp at home, the light illuminates the room and trillions of photons fly apart. But what happens to those photons in the room when the light is turned off? Do they disappear somewhere or do they simply cease to exist? Let's move out into space. In the gaps between massive objects, light travels through an almost absolute vacuum. The fact that light travels in a vacuum means that the possibility of it colliding with anything is extremely small. That is why it is easy for it to travel an incredible distance, because nothing blocks the way. Photons have zero rest mass. This is what allows them to move in a vacuum at the speed of light. The faster an object moves, the slower time passes relative to the observer. For a photon traveling at the speed of light, it stops at all. What does that mean? The photon doesn't seem to perceive the passage of time at all. For this particle, billions of years of the universe's existence passes as a single instant. What's more, for a photon traveling at the speed of light, all distances in its direction of travel are reduced to a point. The relativistic length contraction effect comes into play. It turns out that the photon, from its point of view, lives and exists only for a moment without moving anywhere until it is absorbed by some object. And from the point of view of us observers, a photon can exist indefinitely, crossing space at the speed of light, and descended at the very beginning of the birth of the universe. It can exist until its very end. From our perspective, that's eternity. What can happen if something interferes with the light? There are two options, reflection or absorption. We are quite familiar with the first option, since we see the reflection in a mirror precisely because of the physics of this phenomenon. It happens every time light encounters a smooth surface from its point of view. How smooth the surface needs to be for this to happen depends on the wavelength of the light. For example, optical light needs a smoother surface for pure reflection than radio waves, whose wavelengths are much longer. The second option is absorption. Through this process, stones are heated in the sun. They gradually absorb sunlight, the energy of which heats their surface. Any light can be absorbed, not just its infrared heat part. A bad mirror can absorb enough light to make our reflection look like a barely recognizable image. The heat from an electric light bulb is harder to feel today because they are manufactured in such a way that the energy is maximized for lighting, which helps us see in the dark. So, when a light bulb is lit, it emits photons, as we have found out, which fly in all directions around the room and collide with every object in it. These objects absorb most of the colliding photons, but also reflect some of them which allows us to see things in the room. When the light bulb is turned off, no more new photons are emitted, and those that are still inside the room are reflected off objects countless times until they are completely absorbed. Visible light is a type of electromagnetic radiation and a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which includes radio waves, infrared radiation, ultraviolet radiation, gamma rays, and so on. The photon is the most fundamental particle of any type of electromagnetic radiation. Whether it is radio waves carrying Wi-Fi signals, microwaves heating food in a microwave oven, or visible light that helps us see the world around us. A light source, such as a lamp in a room, emits trillions of photons flying in all directions when it is turned on. Because the lamp is in a room, that is, in an enclosed space, the photons it emits collide with everything in their path, thereby illuminating everything in the room. As long as the lamp is shining, the room receives a constant stream of photons of all the countless photons crashing into an object in the room, such as a table, some will be absorbed and others will be reflected and lose some energy in the process. These reflected photons will collide with something else in the room and lose some more energy. Essentially, the photon will keep bouncing off objects until someone absorbs it. Thus, the room stays lit for as long as the lamp is running. However, as soon as we turn it off, things change very quickly. Photons emitted before the lamp is turned off will continue to bounce off objects until the objects in the room absorb them completely. And that happens in just a fraction of a millisecond. If the lamp continued to shine, the rapid absorption of these photons would not change anything. 
because it would constantly emit new photons into the room. But as we have already found out, when the lamp is turned off and no more new photons are emitted, the objects in the room absorb the photons emitted earlier. Their energy is used to heat the objects that absorb them. Since, according to the first law of thermodynamics, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It only passes from one process to another. All of this, the emission of photons by the lamp, their reflection and absorption by other objects happens in about one millionth of a second. This is unusually fast for a human being to perceive or even make any sense of this phenomenon. This is why a room is plunged into darkness when the lights are turned off. But the situation can be quite different. We have open space in front of us again. Unlike turning off the lights in a room, photons emitted in space will continue their motion through the infinite vacuum for a long time until they collide with something. Subscribe if you're still not with us.